If we look back in the industry, even 10 years ago, um, people would uh, access applications on a fairly limited basis. Email was starting to come out. Um, websites weren't necessarily something that was used overly in companies. Today, everything we do is network-centric, but now placing all of the business on the network puts us in a situation we weren't in before. I expect performance to be good. Now that we are serving applications out to remote locations, we're going over that wide area network. And that wide area network is fundamentally different from what we have in the offices, the local area network. If you have two very distant places, you're going to have a latency problem. Latency is really best manifest in a slowdown of the response time. We don't really have technology that makes light travel faster than what we call the speed of light. But we can change the way that data goes back and forth. And this is really how Expand addresses the problem. For example, instead of having a request going between client and server and going back and forth a thousand times, let's change the way it flows and stack up several of these pieces together and just go back and forth ten times. The result to the end user is instead of a thousand times times 70 milliseconds, something like 70 seconds, I'm looking at five or six seconds. Quick definition of congestion. More traffic, more network traffic trying to get across the network than it can possibly transport at one time. Congestion is addressed by two technologies. We would call QoS, first of all, is prioritizing. Make sure what's important to your business is also important to the network. So the most important traffic goes first and has priority on the network. Other times, there's, it'll happen where my network simply can't handle enough of the business critical traffic that my business wants to send across it. And so in that case, I want to be able to make that network feel bigger. I can do that by compressing the data coming across. There's other technologies such as caching and the like where I've seen this before. I don't have to send this piece of data across. And on the other side, I just signal to let it be inserted at the appropriate place. That's a great technology. That's to the end user feels like, wow, we want our customers to feel that our product is going to bring value for them, is hopefully strategic for them, and uh, at the end we'll be there for a long time.